I'm Mizuki Nishiyama, and I'm a mixed Japanese painter. My father is Japanese, my mother is from Hong Kong. They left both of their respective countries at a really young age. My father was in France and Italy, my mom also went to Italy. And that's where they, they met as well and you know, developed a life together. You know, I count as what you would call a hafu, and that means you know, literally half. I felt like I wasn't Japanese or Hong Kong or whatever. That's a battle that I had with whether it's feeling shameful or it's like being excluded. If you're at school and, and you feel like people are not playing with you, it's that same feeling. It's always feeling excluded. So you start developing your own concoction and, and finding out what suits you best. It was so much about just expressing and working through humanity, memory, um, feelings. I explore writing, music, violin specifically. It's interesting because I shift into different personalities. It's like speaking different languages. Well, around two years ago, I moved my studio, which I also live in, in East Harlem. The reason why I chose Harlem is because I am a huge, huge fan of you know, jazz and soul, and there were a lot of like venues, um, obviously nearby. My sense of identity um, so much influenced my society, and, and it truly shouldn't be like that. And at the end of the day, I have my own authentic experience with every single whether it's city or culture or anything, because nothing is really 100% either. It's so much about mixing and mashing it together. My mom and my grandmother would be the biggest female role models that I have in my life. They've instilled so much within me, values, expectations, I should have myself and values that I'll, I should always stand by. It's how they've explored their own heritages because one is from the Chinese side and one is from the Japanese side. How they navigated through you know, different time periods of their culture. How art can't be segregated from living. The works with her clique are my first time releasing Charcoal on the Paper Works, I used to be a bit more hesitant on releasing those because they seem to be a more, I guess, intimate part of my process. What I had in mind when creating them was the experience as a woman. The bitterness, the sweetness, but also the struggle. But also aspects of being East Asian. It's pretty much the emotional turmoil and also the highs and lows and in-betweens of my own journey as a woman. <laughs>